Hello everyone, welcome to another session in Tech Tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about the alignment section under the Home tab in Microsoft Excel. And at the end, there is a simple Excel tip for you. Here is the alignment section I'm talking about. This section gives you ability to align your data in a cell in different ways. Let's have a look at couple of examples and we will see what we can do with these comments. First thing here we will see is vertical alignment. There are three different options for vertical alignment. The first one is top align. The second one is middle align. And the third one is bottom align. Here my sample text, my text is aligned to the bottom by default. Now if I want to apply the top align, my text is gone to the top of the cell. If I want to apply middle align, my text is showing in the middle of the cell. And finally if I try the bottom align, my text is at the bottom of the cell. Similarly we have three options for horizontal alignment. The first option here is align text left. The second option here is center. And the third option is align text right. So as you can see that align text left is already being applied to my text here. So that's why it is showing up at the left side of the bottom of the cell. If I apply the center then my text will be showing up in the center and if I want to say align my text to the right here is my text. You can choose a combination of horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. So for example if I say align my text vertically in the center and horizontally in the center then my text is showing up exactly in the center of the cell. Next thing we are going to see is the command wrap text. Here in the cell B5 I have a text which is longer than the width of the cell. So the text is coming out of the cell. If I want to fit the entire text into this cell, I can use that wrap text function. So let's click on that wrap text comment and see what happens. So this is how I got my entire text inside the cell. Here let me quickly show you how to control indent of data inside a cell using these two comments. One is called decrease indent another is increase indent so this can be used to control the margin between the border and the data in the cell so for example if I want to change the margin of the data in this cell I can use increase indent and you can see the change in the cell and again we can use the decrease indent to decrease the margin now we will have a look at orientation here in B7 field and here is the option for orientation. Just click on this field and we will get all the options. Angle counterclockwise and see how my text on the cell changes. Angle clockwise and here is how it looks like. The next option is vertical text then we have rotate text up then we have option rotate text down and finally if you want to customize some other way then you can go here and you have a little option to change the angle of your text using this function over here and you will get a customized angle of your text in the cell okay now we will move to the next worksheet here in this excel to see 
how to work with merge and unmerge of cells. Here in this tab I have some simple data listing different items their earlier price and current price. As you can see that I have written price twice here in the C column and in the D column. But what if I want to write the price word once for C and D columns and I want to merge these two cells together. So what we can do is select both the cells together and then click on merge and center there will be one warning shown here and what this warning is saying is that both the cells are having some data and once we merge them we cannot retain the data from both the cell the data which will be retained is from the leftmost cell so if I say OK then the cells are merged and data from C2 cell is retained. So here we have two cells merged together. What if we want to unmerge these cells? We have couple of other options over here. Just click the arrowhead showing up right after the merge and center and we will see these options. So here we can click on this unmerge cell option and again we have two different cells. Let's see what other merge option we have here. The other option we have is merge across and merge cell. Suppose we want to merge these two cells but we don't want to place the text in the middle. We just want to keep the text towards left of the merge cell then we can use any of these two options like if I use merge cell options so now it is a single cell but the text is showing towards left of the cell so what is the difference between merge across and merge cells we will see the difference with an example here suppose I selected this block of cells starting from F2 to H5 and I applied merge cells so this is what the result we got it actually merged all the selected cells together and kept the text we had in F2 cell Let's use the merge across command on this block of cells. So here all the horizontal cells are merged together and as a result we got four different merged cells and in each cell the data from ape column is being retained. So this is pretty much all about uh, the comments we have under alignment section in the home tab. Now this is time for tip of the session. So today's tip is about how to generate sequential number quickly in Excel. Suppose here in this column I want item numbers to be listed like I want to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and such a way I can type in and it will take lots of time if the list is so long but you can do it pretty quickly just type 1 and 2 which defines your sequence then select both the cells take your cursor to the bottom right corner and the cursor will change to a thinner plus symbol press the left button to hold and then drag till the point you want the number to be generated and then clip the left button and now we got a sequence of numbers 
so here we are done with today's tutorial i hope this will be helpful for you if you have any specific question please leave me a comment at the bottom of this video and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you liked my tutorial please give me a thumbs up share some comment and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials thank you for watching tech tutorial video see you soon